Hey, what's up? Do you know that 90% of the startups fail in the first year itself? But having said that, there are success stories too. For example, last year in 2018, eight Indian companies became unicorns with valuation of over $1 billion. So, what's the difference that makes all the difference? In this video, you will learn about entrepreneur mindset billionaire characteristics which you need to acquire if you want to make your company a unicorn and for you to become a billionaire. My name is Murli Murli Dharan Jairam and I'm your online breakthrough consultant with over 25 years of experience in consulting worldwide in fortune 100 companies in the United States in multinational companies in Europe and in India. Welcome to the Citrine's channel, the ultimate guide to success mindset for entrepreneurs and business owners. If you want to learn really to grow your business exponentially, if you want to make your company really great and all other stuff related to business, then hit the subscribe button right now and smash the bell icon so that you're notified whenever we post a video. One of the main reasons why Indian startups fail is because of lack of funding. Now, why is there lack of funding? It's because investors are not convinced of the value of the startup. A second reason why Indian startups fail is because of lack of innovation. Now, what are your challenges as an entrepreneur? Leave your comments below. So let's get started. Here are the entrepreneur mindset billionaire characteristics. Number one, be creative and innovative first. So what does this mean? You need to come up with original ideas for your business and that will be a big problem for you. Why? Because the Indian education does not teach you how to be creative and how to be innovative. And in addition to that, you're also in an environment that is actually not creative or innovative. India is full of me too products, me too companies, me too businesses. So if you want to really make the mark in this world, you need to come up with original ideas. Come up with an idea that will add immense value to your customers. In fact, to a large number of customers. The more customers you add value to, immense value to, the easier for you to become a unicorn and ultimately a billionaire. Number two, be profusely ambitious about the impact of your startup. That's very important. You need to really think big. India is full of small thinkers. That doesn't do you good. Your original idea should have tremendous impact on your customer and to a large number of customers. And that's the easiest route for you to become a billionaire and also make your startup company a unicorn. Number three, go beyond your environment. It's very, very important you, that you think beyond your environment because your environment tremendously impacts the way you think. That's because of your mirror neurons. Every one of us have mirror neurons. You have them too. So whenever you meet people, whenever you're in an environment of people, your mirror neurons will begin to sync with their mirror neurons. And if their thinking is small, your thinking will also be small. Your thinking will be limited. The environment will have huge impact on the way you think about your business, about your idea. To give an example, take Mark Zuckerberg. The environment tremendously influenced him. So when he started Facebook, he started it for college students. And over a period of time, suddenly he realized that this Facebook of his can have huge impact for everyone else. The moment he expanded beyond the environment, beyond his environment, beyond college students, rest was history. So you need to really look beyond your environment, about your business idea and about your startup. And that's the way to go. Listen to Steve Jobs' wisdom. We are here to put a dent in the universe. Otherwise, why else even be here? Number four, go beyond your comfort zone. 
you need to really really have guts to think big and go after original ideas and take those ideas and make them a reality if you don't go out of your comfort zone then you'll remain in the shell your company will not grow in fact your company may die your startup may die so it becomes very important that you push out of your comfort zone in fact there are many people who believe getting a job and going to a job from 9 to 6 is the safest and the easiest way to make a living however what is paradoxical is to be in a job is the biggest risk today because your company may vanish your jobs may vanish with the advent of artificial intelligence and robots just around the corner you may find that your job is vanishing so what do you do so it makes sense for you to become an entrepreneur number five be revolutionary in your thinking you need to create a business that never existed before you need to create products and services that never existed before and that's what's important in making the mark in 21st century go ahead and disrupt the market otherwise you will be disrupted I'll give you some examples of disruptive inventions that change the way we live today Airbnb Uber Amazon iPhone iPod the digital photography all that has changed completely the way we live in this world and also disrupted many industries many industries have vanished because of the disruption caused by these new inventions and new way of thinking I strongly recommend that you go ahead and read the book called the blue ocean strategy and blue ocean shift beyond competition number six learn to take an idea and make it a reality it doesn't matter actually how many ideas you have it doesn't matter how many brilliant ideas you have it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have what matters is your ability to take an idea change it to a strategy and then into actions and then to a reality and this needs to be learned there's a skill in execution and that's a big problem in this country people do not know how to plan how to think deeply you need to really really think deeply after you get that idea you need to check whether the idea is viable you need to check whether there is a market for that idea you need to check whether the idea is going to make that huge impact that you think it will make and all this needs planning meticulous planning and once you have vetted the idea you need to go about and show that the idea is successful only then you will be able to attract investors and get the financial support that you need to take your idea and take your startup and make it a huge success so you need to know about execution you need to learn about execution number seven learn how to handle failure and how to bounce back this is very important for you to learn because you will come across failures and you should never give up I'll give you some examples let's take the example of Narayana Murthy he started his career by joining IMA and then he started a company called Softronics in 1976 but it failed they went and joined Putney computers and worked there and then after that he started Infosys and the rest was history so that's an example of bouncing back from failure I'll give you another example in 1998 Ratan Tata introduced Indica a hatchback car which miserably failed nobody liked that car so it was rejected totally many people asked him to go and sell that car business so he looked around and finally went to Ford. Bill Ford actually insulted Ratan Tata. And this is what he asked him. When you don't know anything about passenger cars, why did you start the business? We are doing a favor by buying your business. In 2008, Ford's Jaguar Land Rover business was in heavy loss. It was Ratan Tata who saved the day and Bill Ford said this to Ratan Tata 
you're doing us a favor by buying our company. Now, see what happened. The tables turned. And this is a clear example of how an entrepreneur bounces back despite his failures. So you need to learn how to bounce back. Failures are okay. It's all about learning, moving on, and applying those learnings into your business so that you make it more successful. Number eight, go beyond self-employment and scale your business. What does this mean? It means that you actually need to work in the business and also work on the business. What's the difference between two? When you work in the business, you are actually running the business. You're caught in its operational aspects. If you continue to focus working in the business, then you will become a prisoner of the business. You will not be able to scale the business at all. So you need to work on the business too. Working on the business means standing back and looking at the business and doing new things that actually will accomplish these things. Number one is it will scale your business. That's very important. You need to generate ideas of how to scale your business. Number two, you need to get right people on the bus in the right seat. That's very important. Number three, you need to develop a high performance culture within your company. Number four, most important, you need to subtract yourself from your business. If you can't do all these things, then you will be caught in this prison of business. If your business cannot run without you, then you actually have a job. Think about it. These are entrepreneur mindset billionaire characteristics. I've given a few of them. I'll create more episodes on more and more characteristics you need to acquire to become a billionaire and also make your company really, really great. Our world and especially India need a lot of brilliant entrepreneurs. Are you one of them? Do you want to be one of them? Leave the comment below and let's have that conversation. So until next time.